Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Did you see that? Um. Yeah, we're gonna do some more side quests now. That's all I got for us today. We'll see how long this takes. So some of these side quests, I think, might start to be picking up in terms of length. I'm turning off my lights because they're still on. There we go. So we need to go to south of Tabor in Dalmechia. Okay, it's probably going to be actually down there. I'm not seeing a Tabor anywhere else. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head out over to Martha's Rest. I'm going to hang out here for a bit. My lord, Marquis, is that you? It is indeed it is me. You. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord, tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt. And without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate, and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the Seven High Houses. Alas, alas, I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other, the old imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. Let's go to Northreach. This is a side quest we can do almost right away, so I think at least. All we have to do is just kill some creatures and then we get the materials for it, so it could be nice and easy for us, I think. There were ghosts at the gates, not days ago. You needn't fret. Do 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 <sighs> to the meadows then. That's what the Let's go. He said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. 
Light blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. They blight bright blue flowers, right? That's weird. Now that is heady. This must be the Drake's Mint. That just leaves the Skyworm. This must be our Wyvern. Come on, see what you got for me. I dare you, try and hit me. I dare you, try and hit me. Try and hit me, I dare you. Try and hit me, I dare you. Try and hit me, I dare you. See where it gets you. Nowhere. Try and hit me again, I dare you. Boom. You're dead. Get baited. Now eat a uh, whirlwind. That's cool. He uses a similar ability, I think. Joshua, I think he uses his beam ability with us. I think that's everything Molly needs to resolve. Boom. I bid you guys adieu. Just kidding. We're going south of Dalamil. Okay. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Let's hope someone here has seen something. Mummy. We've already killed the bad men. I don't know why they're still talking about them coming back. Hippity hop, slippity slop, slip, slip, slippity bop, gloopity glop. Let's I go, go voila. Run like the wind. And someone's got himself in trouble. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> And maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank a you. Glippy, a slippy, a gloopity clap, clippity clap. Master, then. <laughs> if you kindly pay the coin he owes us. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than... He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. Come on, guys, go. More, come on, show me, hit me. Someone hit me. Hit me, I dare you. Oh, you guys are done for now. Bye bye. Oh, you guys are up in one. Ooh. Cool. Have fun. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before, then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. 
I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more. And his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her wall. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. And it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. I'll find a caravan. You won't mind if I... Not in the slightest, bud. Don't worry about it. Not at all. No. If he was bound for Oriflam. Okay. There's a lot of road. He was bound for Oriflam. Here in the capital. Oh, so they're suggesting that he didn't make it. Okay. Let's say, because Oriflam is not this way. Oriflam is up the other direction, so. But anyways, I guess they're not too far away from the cities is what they've basically kind of deigned. And also, why would he go towards, like, here, right? Because that'd be really stupid. With just how, like, because it's filled with ether now, right? It's been fully flooded. You deserve a rest. Oh, there, my good sir. What happened How can I help you? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I'm Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands. It didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South. To all right. Found a nose of you heard back to Northridge. Visit the Vale. Thank you. <laughs> They'll give you a good time, all right. Let's go. Huzzah! Onwards to adventure. They just couldn't resist, could they? Oh, they're coming back for more? This one's off, easy boy. I got my impulse back too. That thing charges so quickly. killed him. I guess it's a huge splash damage at the end of it that does a lot of damage. So. Because he just lost a lot of his health bar in a second Make there. The town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine, which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. 
The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrol. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, if you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course, I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. Final Fantasy VII. Wondering where I've got Teen. To. I shall send a Bastolus as soon as I'm able. What do I want to see in Final Fantasy XVII? Okay. Well, I do like this gameplay. I'm not sure what I want to see. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. Personally, I have no issue if they want to continue this style of gameplay for the next Final piece. Fantasy games and so on. What I want to see, though, is a party system. Uh, not something akin to FF15. I want to see, like, a create-your-own-party system like the previous games. I want to be able to make my own character, have different classes, right? So you got your black mage, your white mage, your monks, your job classes coming back. That's what I want to see in a 17, is, like, a modern take on, like, 2 or 3, or maybe even 9, I think, is probably... Is 9 a better example of, like, a job class-based Final Fantasy game? Or maybe, what is it, 12, Zodiac Age, where they added a bunch of stuff? Like, that's what I want to see, is maybe if they do a game like this, I want to see a full party system, though, where you got three party members, each different classes that you can choose. I want to see maybe potential multiplayer if you want, so you can have a friend join your game as one of your party members, or they can join as their own, one of their four characters that they want to play. That's what I want to see from a Final Fantasy 17. I think this is a great game for a Final Fantasy game. I just don't think it's perfect. I, I, I do miss the class system of some of the older ones um final fist final fantasy 15 didn't have that either right it, you basically you had four classes right and then obviously noctis could be whichever one he wanted to be but the classes themselves weren't quite what i was always interested in what i liked final fantasy for you know i want to see you know like a dark knight class the black mage the white mage and stuff similar to ff14 but with a different style of combat obviously and with a different you know way to use spells and stuff um, I think for what it is, this game is really good. I think it's, like, very much obviously it's reminiscent of Devil May Cry. But obviously the difference between this game and Devil May Cry is that I never got very good at Devil May Cry combat. Like, I played DMC, is it 5? Right? And, uh, I never got all that good. I, I started to near the end of it, but it was, like, too late. Too late. You know, like, it was just, like... I didn't really get a chance to experience some of the good combat that you can get with the game. Like, I made through it, but I didn't start getting, like, S ranks in the combat until I got to, like, the end with Nero. And I was using, like, the rocket fist to surfboard and, like, swing enemies, switching into another fist, grabbing them, hitting them, smashing them down, shooting them, swapping to the rocket fist again or something, right? Like, I didn't start getting crazy with it till the end of it. Um, was this game, I picked it up very quickly because this game, I think, is a lot more simpler than DMC5's combat is. Um, but I think there's probably, but there's definitely a lot of room <laughs> for craziness. Granted, I think DMC5, it doesn't get crazier than, like, Dante or Nero. Like, the amount of rocket fist combos or the amount of arm combos you have with Nero and DMC5 and then Dante, all the fucking abilities and weapons and his moves with each different one being unique. There's so much combo potential. Whereas in this game, you only ever have, what? six moves plus a couple more like this game is definitely has the complexity to it but not in the same way that dmc5 does but that's a here. good thing it makes it a lot the easier to get into it affords a constant flow of traders so with it a constant flow of it's like i feel like it would be getter be which, sorry i received word from both my associates i only happened to be in the right place at the right time they both seem to think the realm's prospects were rather grim i am afraid that grim would be putting it storm is in crisis and if we are to free her we must work quick and we must work as it is okay uh i think <clears throat> I feel like it would probably probably be easier to get like an S rank style combo in this game than it would be in DMC five. 
but that doesn't mean much, right? Because DMC5 is all about that complexity. Um, I think it'd be easier to get an S rank combo in this game, but I do think ultimately at the ultimate high end of the spectrum, like triple S's and stuff, like the equivalent of a triple S in this game, I feel like probably would be as difficult as DMC5's gameplay, but like the base S rank and stuff, it's one of those things where DMC5 is more complicated, but I still think this game has a very decent level of complexity lying under the surface that you can choose to Nothing dig up. Like Whereas in DMC, you need to dig it up. Like if you want to do really good in the game, you I'm have sorry, to dig man. up those that very complex nature. Whereas in this game, you don't have to dig it up to get those I really complex, cool you. feeling combos like because a lot of the me. moves flow very nicely yeah, into one well, another. Um, and it's really Parents easy to get started, right? Whereas like Dante and DMC5, when they start you off with Dante, you have a ton You've of different options, if I'm correct. So it really does just kind of drop you into like a really good high tier character. looking for trouble again. I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again, and you can't stop me. Why, you big low fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. But yeah. Ultimately. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's his maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then. He'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, missed. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. That's fine. Um, yeah, ultimately, I don't think one game has better combat system than the other. I think they're both really great. I just think that DMC5, um, from the right from the get-go, lends itself really well to complexity. Whereas this game absolutely eases you into the complexity. It's not right from the get-go. The combat system is very simple. Whereas in DMC5, it's just immediate. Like, there is so much shit you can do. Whereas in this game, you don't start out with much you can do. And you slowly build up that repertoire of skills and experience. So that way, by the end of the game, you should be playing, like, you know, a DMC5 character. The only difference is that I feel like this game definitely helps you, helps ease you into everything. Whereas I felt like DMC5 just kind of drops you into it. And whether or not you reach that level of complexity depends on which difficulty you play on, right? If you're playing on the really hard difficulties, it's going to take you a while to get through the game. And so eventually you're going to learn how to get those triple S rankings because that will make it a lot quicker. But as you play on like normal, like I did, not on the hardest difficulty, you won't have as much trouble getting through the game, meaning you'll never find yourself really struggling to, you know like map out combos and stuff so it'll be less likely that you reach that high tier level of gameplay so because you'll finish the game you before you ever get the chance then? i did and he was as helpful as ever he told me exactly where to look in fact i like both games but i and wouldn't be if I be ff17 decided to, to go know? back to your standard um uh turn-based stuff uh -huh. i wouldn't have an issue with it uh if ah, they decide to stick with action combat i wouldn't have an issue with well, it if they tried to pull ff15 war, I, I probably would have an issue with that i think right final fantasy 15 absolutely has the weakest combat system so out of them all of your, um, what they were on about. because it doesn't know what it wants to be it like seems like it wants to be atb based with like the frozen parts of it but it's also like and trying to be action it. oriented, Fried but it's not fully action oriented. It's a little bit if sluggish. Make sure it's it was a really bad attempt at well, a decent offered. combat system, He's unfortunately. Um, whereas this game so. really knew what it Is wants there to be. Any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? So yeah, it's a shame. F of 15 could have been a lot better, I think, if they would have just really <laughs> stuck with their method. Whereas this game did that it stuck with it it knew what it wanted to be and it got the people that it needed to be that game because i think it got people from like platinum games so to help with it i think but no people from dmc5 it was some one person what, what who was on dmc5 that was also on this game that helped crush. bring the combat together Gives a lot better to an almost violent richness yet 
It is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force, a force of nature even, a maelstrom of flavor and sensation, a graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. Anyways, enough talking about games and what I want to see. We'll see what they decide to do for FF17. It probably won't be for another eight years, so we'll see. Um, hopefully, it will be within five years. Um, we'll see. I don't know if Yoshi P will be directing the next one, but there's a very good chance that if this game does like really, really, really well, Square Enix might be like, "Hey, listen, we know you might want to work on other stuff right now, but like we really want you to work on the next main series game." Uh, which we'll see what he chooses to do. Did you see so. That? We sent curse breakers to Martha's Rest, Dalamil, and Northridge. Hopefully they can help maintain the peace. I'm interested to see what will be next for the series in terms of combat. Here you go. What the main uh, game style is going to be. So, hopefully it'll be something good. I don't want it to be FF15. So long as it's not FF15, we're fine. Ready, go. I still remember that parkour dungeon, man, in fucking FF15. That was a fucking mess and a half, man. God. Because the game's movement was, like, somewhat tight, but not tight enough to make an entire dungeon based on said movement. Like, it was not. <laughs> it, it, there, there was, like, a little bit of slidiness to it. Uh, which you don't want in a dungeon where every movement fucking matters. It was really bad. It pissed me off very quickly. I like the wings. Let's do that final explosion damage. How much damage will do at the end? Only 15k. That's nice. I don't know where that big damage boost came from. But there was at one point enough damage to do like way too much damage. Here. Cause at 1.5 it maxes out. He's totally dead after this. That's gonna kill him. 7k, not bad. Was it really worth killing him? Probably not. I mean, I don't know how good coral whiskers are, but who knows. Maybe the next weapon we need to make will require them. Oh, that's what this is for. That's what I was looking for. I will say it's kind of a shame that the last elixir you only get one of. It's like, oh great, I only get one Phoenix down the entire fucking game. That's fun. But yeah, I, I would love to see um uh, an actual or I would love 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 to see a JRPG um for Final Fantasy 17 like gear weapons classes party systems and then potentially multiplayer if they're interested in going that far which they wouldn't have to right. Home I would love to play a modern Final Fantasy game with today's developers. Um, but they're like, they're, they're very much like they've gotten more skilled, right? They've learned from their mistakes. 
in previous games, so they're obviously going to be a lot better at it. Which means they can do more. They're going to be capable of more unique stuff. So, I'm hoping. That's what I want to see. Uh, I'm betting there's going to be a thing to uh, reduce the Giga Flare charge time. That's uh, almost guaranteed, I feel, is that there will be a Giga Flare charge reduction. Or if things, you know what, it would be nice if things like Impulse would increase charge uh, rate. I didn't see it in time. Thank you. That's what we'll see. Ooh. Giga Flare is a lot of fun, man. I like Bahamut. Bahamut is absolutely like top. Uh, Phoenix is absolutely top. Um, Garuda's pull? Not as important. Her tornado, on the other hand, I love her tornado. If there's one thing I'm definitely going to master to keep with me, it's going to be that tornado. Originally, it was the Thunderbolt I really liked, but I like the tornado because it's just, it's a good AoE, um, slicker. I don't know. Uh, the only thing I need, though, is will damage. So, and in that case, comparison, comparing, like... Her abilities, Garuda's, to Titan's abilities, or even Ramu's, it's one of those things right where she's a clear winner for Will. So, Bahamut, straight single target. Uh, Phoenix is movement, all about that movement. Uh, with, like, the Phoenix Rising, obviously, is a really good DPS, but her dash, all about movement. The Ignition, all about the movement, right? So, it's really good. Bahamut all about dps with the exception of impulse but i can swap that out for flare breath which is all about the dps uh and then garuda is all about will damage so that's that's how i'm playing it so i need someone who i can replace garuda with and then i'll get rid of that mid stagger effect because i don't need it at that point so i thought i was going to keep titan all the way through but <laughs> i don't need Mario block combat. if i can just dodge everything so ether flood up ahead it swallowed our camp my own men did this. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. The encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. I can ride my chocobos. Choki B, Chocobo, let's Come go, on. go, go, go. Fly Ambrosia. Is she gonna have to leave once I enter the ether They're flood? Now. Probably right. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Right. I got here in time. Who's coming first? Come on. Got him. Come on, who's next? Got him. Boom! Have fun. And have more fun. And here's even more fun. And here's one last bit of fun.
Damn, son. Again, Bahamut, chef's kiss. Garuda, chef's kiss. The fact that I sold the best items for these characters, it's not very good. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting taken care of. One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. He was right to send you. Those things. You slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here. Yep, that was an easy quest. Thank you. Appreciate the money. You seem familiar. You must have me confused with someone else. Wait. That scar, son of a whore. Your Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander! My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! Fine. If you insist. For Tyson! state to fight and this should be easy for you come on kill me for what the sins of your master you and I have no quarrel and I will not strike a man who cannot defend himself no <laughs> I won't be deceived Lord Kupka told us of your crimes you are an outlaw a murderer not some man like you or anyone else? I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. How did he not hear about Sid? Let's go. I don't understand that. I feel it could be pretty hard not to hear about all the things that Sid has done for the people. So him assuming that, oh, we're a horrible monster with nothing else to us is a little weird, but okay. He should at least understand the fact that, you know, we he should be mad at us for killing his master, not because, oh, we're apparently a monster or an outlaw, because we're not. <laughs> We've done nothing but trying to help people, so I feel like that would get their word around, even towards Hugo, Hugo's guardsmen, but that's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'll let the other soldier deal with them. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. New shopkeep? New items. And what would those be, my good be merchants? Buying or selling? Diamond sword. Pretty shit. Pretty shit. Always take those. And the shoulders of the giant's choice. orchestration. Come again. Cool. Now that we've got the hunts coming in with the S ranks, we're able to get actually buy those orchestrons without having to sell useful items.
Where's Joshua? My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. Shit, sorry, you guys good? I, I stopped recording by accident. Okay, I turned off my keyboard. <laughs> Let's continue. You guys missed like three sentences. Repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Ah. Uh. Upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waludanites who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened howls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you! Distinguished members of the council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! 
so you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> Enough. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city, her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the Prince's light cannot have sated you. The Prince isn't dead yet. Right? He's unconscious. Essentially comatose, but that's about it. So then... How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? You. The tapestry. Show them. That should be pretty obvious by now. He just wants you. So the way he can control the world. He wants to rebuild it. Completely destroy everything and restart it. By the flames. Phoenix Gate. Drake's breath and now here. But what is it? It is old. Ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia los delan to his sag ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty. Remember. If... If that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Farewell. 
Let's find our friends. Monka, 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 monka. One second, I need a chest for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Forty two minutes. So an hour twenty is what I should go for. Got it. She beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, Yes, Anna. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade. That an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Karaf. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to see? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast. Bring me that beast's skin and I will... All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, I eagerly await your... Okay. Said leave out the east gate and then take a trail west. Okay. An ether flood, yes. Not a stone's throw away. What the fuck do you trip? mean? How far can you throw a stone, lady? You? Jesus Christ. Finally. That's pretty insane. No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant graybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures. The most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rat in my heyday no obstacle could have kept me from the answers i seek like yes okay fine yes let's go and memorize a few in uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved the three of them to be precise i'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed namely the otherwise undocumented origins of I can't promise that. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. I can't be bothered with these side quests. These guys speak so fucking slow and say way too fucking much. Like, you gotta shorten down your side quests more. Like, I'm sorry. God. Either that or just go back to text. <laughs> Let me read at my own pace. Cyril fellas are not fish, don't you think? Guardians of the Crystals, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till the ends of the mother's labor. No history would be complete without mention of the mother crystals. Back to it... I don't like it. So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes. To... Okay, so we can see the other two. One right there and one right there. The mother's labor. Oh, okay, that refers to the mother crystals. Got it. That makes sense.
Wanders of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone with pride recalled by nobles past and make these rocks a home. What Golden Plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Recent quarry's been hard to find since the sky's turned. It has indeed. Golden Plains sounds like another term for desert, but could be wrong. Plains might refer to fields only, so that's why. So fields of wheat, which means the desert used to never be a desert. Children of the hunters, now tifflers of the land, or tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. I have to remember it. Let's find out. The engravings were in good repair. Consider. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, oh, don't tease me. Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Um, Gardens of the Crystal, the first stones of Tibor. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother crystal. But oh, whatever could have driven the guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder. The engraving to the north is next, I think. Dude, this, this mouse is garbage. Like, it disconnects, and then I can't reconnect it. It's so fucking annoying. Uh, Wanders of the Golden Plains. Wanders of... Right. One of the golden plains, lay a root in stone. Yep. The golden plains, or... No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now tillers of the land. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples. The final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings. One for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here, yeah, and thank you. Cool. Now, I would have a mind to teleport down to the sickle, uh, or teleport down to the jaw and then go up through the sickle. Um, however, something tells me it will be faster if I just follow what the instructions said for the hunt, or for that one guy. He said to follow the thing and take a path west, and I would be there, so... We'll do that, and we'll see if his uh, words ring true. Because I feel like I might open up a shortcut back through the sickle, I would assume. Cyril. How fares the search? Well, your grace... My report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. 
For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. The Phoenix Down from Serial of the Undying. As long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your Grace. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. What's up, Whiskey? Why are you so excited? Very, um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. He just came in, gave me a couple licks, and then walked out. Little fucker. The free cities and sea. I know why. He just wants me to put him outside. Little does he know, I'm not going to do that. Let's go. Because there's other people in the house right now that can do it for me. So. Are you sure this not. is the right way, bro? Uh, yes, I am sure. This is going to be the hunt that I want to do, I bet. Deserve a rest. I was right. We can't leave these guys uh hanging around there for uh any real reason. Rank C though, so not very strong. I guess we'll be done with them in all due haste. They are very quick to attack. Oh, because they all attack at once. That's why. They all attack at once. Which is very deadly. Now, how about you guys have a little bit of fun with this? God, you fuck up one dodge and you just get bombarded with attacks. Okay. So, one, two, three, and then dodge immediately out. I don't know what killed them there. I don't know what killed them there. I really don't know how this works. I think if you get hit enough times by the ability, it does a bonus damage at some point or something. 
Shouldn't have messed with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? Come on. How does that work? I, I gotta read about this. It must have some sort of burst effect every time or every like 10 hits or something. I don't know what it is, but it, it does like this tick of like insane damage at one point during the attack that has killed many enemies with like seemingly instant rapport, you know? I'm excited to play the other Final Fantasies, honestly. I don't know if I'm excited to replay through Final Fantasy 1 again, but Final Fantasy 2 and stuff, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Thanks, girl. That's good enough for me. Make it for level three. Thank you. Fly Ambrosia. Oh, holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? I was like, man, it's a shame there's no fucking, like, thing to go to here. Be safe. Oh, what's up? What's up there, gatekeeper? You lost, stranger. Wherever you're headed, it's back the way you came. Let's go. Okay. Because they don't want yeah. nobody coming in. Cool. That's fine by me then. One thing we are going to do is we're going to swap out uh, Impulse for Flare Breath. And then we're going to go to our Icon abilities. There, we'll use Flare Breath for a little bit, see what we can do with it. Seeing them jump directly into that, that's, that's kind of funny, honestly. Of Yeah, you want to dodge into enemies to bait out the dodge players. It just lasts for so fucking long, man. Honestly, I don't even need, like, cooldown for it. I need damage for it. Give me increased damage for that, and I will fucking ride that shit all the way to the end game. Bahamut is such a fun icon. Such a fun icon. 
is your hide. As requested. I worried you. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek. Yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You join me as my honored partner. With my means and your... I don't plan on making a habit of this. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our... Do not allow me to keep you from being about... Thank you for the money. So, I appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, let's get out of here. If I'm correct, there's nothing new here, right? I just want to make sure. Uh, there's new notes to read, but nothing new for real Z's, which is what I wanted to check. So that's good. Cloak and dagger. I'm assuming I'm the dagger. My brother's the cloak since he's been hiding all his fucking life like a little bitch. Like a little bitch. Good girl. Yeah. Then let us be rid of them. Right, let us be rid of them. I don't need them to level up, so I level up <laughs> just by killing S class monsters. Really. Kill enough S-Class monsters and eventually you reach okay, max level. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. We'll see you guys. We just got... She's pretty good. Clive, smoke. Is the city fallen? No, but it's definitely being besieged. So we need to work and work fast. Still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Bump it up, bump, 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 bump. Oh no fucking way. Ah, are you kidding me? There's more side quests of now of all times? Why would they do this to us, motherfuckers? God damn it. Okay, let's deal with them. Come on. Ah, Clive. Just the man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? Remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attack? Well, now the rest have come to join him. 
Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay, but we ain't got nowhere for them to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pen. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could, but where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock, which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it isn't just that lot. There's bears to think about, too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately. They're coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. Yes, Paul. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. It's no burden. Thank you, Clyde. So, where were you thinking of making? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool? Yeah. It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one. A band of cutthroats have made it their den. Nasty bastards they are too. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner. If my boys didn't, but now... I do. He's... And I know them. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade, and I dare say he's got some ideas. Of course. I'll just go fucking kill them. I don't need your guys' fucking help. I am the fucking dominant of Ifrit with the icons. With, like, six oh, different yet. icons at my Sir fucking Wade's behest. First. I don't need your fucking help, Wade. I'm good on my own. Just let me go kill them. So what? Uh, and you, Lord Rosfi. I spoke with Mark. She tells me you have plans to free. That's right. Though it was mostly her idea. Right? I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes. Some and then there are the bearers. Men and women who found the courage to flee their masters. We need somewhere to settle them. And I... As can I. Which is why I agree. That's very kind of you. With you beside us, we shall soon send... Th so? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than like a small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped. I'll head into East Poland. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off make sure. I can't ask you to bear all that. The Akashic are the bigger risk. Well, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait? No need, my lord. All right. We shall see. I don't fucking care. You guys are just saying go kill this place and free the building. That's fine. Boom, teleport right to East Pool, and I'll kill them all in minutes. Just don't fucking get in my way. Here, let's swap over back to Impulse. Who the hell are you? This allows me to charge up pretty much freely for the first little bit. Get up to level 2. Come on.
over. Done. I do like Impulse because it allows me to have a damage go on while I'm using Giga surprises. Flare. It allows me to mitigate some of the enemies that I need to dodge for a few moments. Bravo. So. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. Leave it with me. I feel like I thought the Blight isn't going to be moving anymore. That's what I thought. Was I right? Is this going to become like a oh. home economy? Without mastery. No. We're the masters now. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially the masonry might still be sturdy enough. But half the beams are rotted. Those that w It'll take a bit of elbow grease. So wait, if you don't mind. I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safe. If you need anything... And we will. Eastpool lives again. Yes, it does. Now, if only we could get another costume change. Wouldn't that be nice? I'll say, you know, it's nice how we uh, wear our shirt open the same way that, uh, what's it called, Sid does. Right, because Sid always wore his shirt open, if I'm correct, so we also wear our shirt the same way. Ah, there you are. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. What's all this about some shape-shifting night? On second, it'll only give me nightmares of my own. I suppose it will be. What else? Sir Wade's, there's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. Did Wade say... Well, some... Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, so the way I see it, if it's food or lumber or... Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. I wanted to. Cool. Okay, there we go. Well, rekindling the flame. How the fuck is Eastpool... How, how the fuck are most of these areas not inbred as fuck? Or are they inbred and they just don't care to acknowledge it? Like, we got one house. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Like, seven houses here. Maybe eight, nine, and ten or something. There's only, like, ten families that live here. They're literally, like, cousins just keeping the population going, you know? And that's it. I mean... Can't lie. Boklad. Where's Boklad? I remember Boklad. Never mind. I was like, what's Boklad again? It's like, oh yeah, this is the place that uh, we did that insurance quest. Oh, I called it insurance. We got our license back. Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment... And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness? And your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the fist before they get far. But the army, too, is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which me? And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, so we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a ca The place was abandoned a long time ago. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to... How could I... Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements... Of course. Sounds like... I will. 
We have an entire village to even if I begin right now. So I'd better try to clear the place out before I'll do my best. Is that the fishing village we've checked out? You will find a village in Chedra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. All right. I'm sure. No, it's south. Okay. Yeah, it's not It's not where I thought it was. Thank God. I do not want to be traveling all the way back there. Oh, never mind. It is that place. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Uh, do I recognize this? Where is this? How did I under... How did I find this place? Oh, that's right. That's how we got to Bakhlat. That's where it spawned us, was there. I was like... How did we get to this place again? How did we discover this point? That's where it spawned us. <laughs> Come on. Did it again where well, I'm holding it down just ever so slightly short of what I need, man. God damn it. Ah. It was just a little bit faster to charge. The last of them. I think you're right. Wait, what? Bucklet. Why is that like that? Is that how the lunge has always been? I just never noticed it. It is. I just never knew that was how it worked. Okay, cool. I didn't realize that's how that lunge move worked. Good to know, I guess. Um, anyways, let's go. Something the matter quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Him again. Someone you know. Yes, but enough about him. It's done. You made quick work? I should go and let Oh, let me. Uh, but Clive. Don't tell her I was watching her. She'll only get. I'll explain everything once. All right.
Eloise, I just got back from cash lock. Thank you, Claire. Here. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in the go- We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with, but we shall emerge victorious. Well... I'm not sure I do. Just send a Solus, so... Ah, you wanted to talk. The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic, and they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now, and judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserved. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds, and she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man. I have always been grateful, for, and I want to repay the favor. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it... She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time... Always. Thank you. Well then, these bearers are... That's a job for... Okay. Great. Awesome. Um. Okay. How much of the stuff have I finished? Let's go find. Oh no, there's one more spot. Uh, there's one more spot. One more godforsaken fucking spot. Okay, we're finally doing this quest. I was wondering when this would come back. So I think these are all uh, follow-up quests, essentially. So these are quests where if you did the first one, you get to do the second one now. So now we're finally doing the Attack on the Hideout quest. Clive, as you know, our time grows short. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment. And I understand more than anyone that his revenge. It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children. The elderly. Bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not like. And so, Clive, I find. Will you take them to your hideaway? That they might live even should Lostwing die. I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who... The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case... Understood. Then the last of my prepar... And may Grieger guide... This allows me to immediately travel by Chocobo, so... If I'm correct, right? Yep. Immediately traveled by Chocobo. Which is much better than having to walk to the exit. I can't wait to do a favorite Final Fantasy or a Final Fantasy tier list. That'll be fun. No need to ride from here. Everyone, you can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. 
There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with it. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, and if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end, that we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster. They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to it, they're all gonna fucking... No. Sid! Don't worry about it. We can't let Quinton... All right. Where is this manor? <laughs> It's way over to promise it. Pretty sure I've already been there. Uh, yes. Yes, I have. I've been there once before. So, I kind of called it, too. I was like, this is going to be where that final fight there is going to happen. Onward, Ambrosia. Quickly. I will say, I do wish Ambrosia was a little bit faster. It would be nice if she just had a little bit more speed in her. Um, are we going to get to fight Behemoth now, though? I hope so. We better get to fight Behemoth. I swear to God. If we go through this entire game without a Behemoth fight, I'll be pissed. Like, Behemoth is, like, almost a staple. Tell me we're too late. Quinton. No, which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question. It's another core, huh? This must be the gut, Quinton. I'll hold it off. But your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice... I won't. Come on, then. That is no new guard dog. No. It's a rabbit beast that needs to be put down. God, fuck off, game. Oh, I can't get a single fucking dodge down. Are you kidding me, man? Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, that's really pissing me off. That's so fucking quick. Okay, level three, fine. Good enough for me. Okay, stop it, game. Please and thank you. Get this off. Get this off. Get this off. Get this off. And get this off. All four parts of it, all with double trigger. The max, the most amount of damage possible. 56,000. There we go. God, that was pissing me the fuck off, man. I couldn't get those dodges down because there's too much shit going on on the screen. That was rough. I don't know why you didn't go with him. Is it over? Is it? He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my core. It was all for this. But what is this? My faithful comrades. All those lives. Quinton. Master Quint! 
You. And so are you. I'm so sorry. And I hate to say it, but it's Lost Wing. What? Flooded with ether? Or flooded with monsters? Or flooded with water? Lost Wing. My Lost Wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! Joshua talks. I'm assuming this might be the only place where you can do this part of the quest. Thank you. Okay, so that can't kill people. That's good to know. The tornado does not kill people. It only weakens them down to one HP. So to kill them, you have to shoot them with magic or something else. I need to get back to Quentin. Quentin. Thank the founder. Yes. You bloody fool, Quentin. What the fuck is wrong with you? What makes you think there are people still in there? We literally evacuated everyone, you fucking dumbass. All the bears we got out of there, and all the warriors left with you. There was should have been no one left in that fucking place. You fucking idiots. Honestly. Welcome back to the land of the... Is lost wing. The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all... A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quentin. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I, I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back, but I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost. 
But it seems your people aren't. So long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of... It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing. Right here in the bay. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, I look forward to it. Okay, thank you, I guess. For fucking nothing, you dumbass. Oh my god. The Breath of the Wind, Wicked Wheel. Honestly, like... The amount of time you could have saved. The amount of lives you could have saved if you just asked us to take the van. We take the vanguard, we open up the path for you, we check everything's safe, and then you can claim the life of the man you hate most. And all those lives would have been spared. Granted, they would have all died to the flood. But, you know, things would have been a lot better, fucking dumbasses. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Here you are. Best of luck out... What? There's more monsters? Why now of all time? Lost Wing Assembly, huh? A man in black and Lost Wing, huh? I should have read where the fuck he's supposed to be. Is he up here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Um, let's try the cellar passage. I feel like that might be it, honestly. It's the one place we haven't really used. That's right, that fucking lady. What did she say? What were her words again? No one will be getting by me as long as I'm around or whatever. Bitch ain't around no more, is she? Is she? That bitch is fucking long gone. I think it's about time I get my just desserts. And find out what the fuck is behind this door. Let's go, baby. I feel like that's where this hunt is, is over here. Let's see. Because we couldn't go back here before. They wouldn't let us. But something is back here. Something has to be back here. I'm assuming it's going to be a person. That, sh that girl was hiding or something. Man in black. Holy Trumpeteur. Class B. Okay, rank B. I know I said class B. 
Thank you, now I can see again. That was a bad idea using that move right off the bat. Seventy four K, huh? And why? One more? That was uh, pretty simple, if I say so myself. Cool, Scarlet. Your work here is done. Anyways, so what do we have here? Any items, any loot, or just the hunt victim? Just the hunt victim, cool. Old Canver, the free cities of Canver. The warehouse district. Would you look at that? Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! <laughs> My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned. But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. 
They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. And you too? doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? So we get to do some solo work for a bit. All right, Looks I'm excited. Like with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? Midadol and Sidolphus. Uh, that makes sense. And you keep Clyde safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. So I guess we're not really doing our duty as first shield, are we now, huh? Even fall. Um, but unfortunately, that's all I have time for today. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. This is Thursday, right? I don't know. It's either Thursday or Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. This is part 16, right? So, Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, this is Thursday. See you guys all tomorrow. So, I guess we're going to be doing some pretty important stuff there next time. Until then, though, everyone. Um, yeah. See you guys all then. I don't know why I decided to do that. I never end like that. I end like this. Goodbye, everyone.